Kylie Jenner recently launched her latest scam, I mean business venture, Kylie Swim. Now before Kylie Swim launched, it was receiving a lot of praise on social media because of the pictures that Kylie posted on her Instagram. People really liked the design, the fit, and people were really excited to see the swimsuits because Kylie always looks good on her Instagram, so why wouldn't her swimsuits look good, right? Well, fans have been receiving their swimsuits and their reviews have not been well received. There have been multiple viral TikToks calling Kylie out for the cheap material that was used for the swimsuits, how bad of a job the seam is, and the fact that people can't fit their panini in the bikini because it's too skinny. So I tried Kylie swim in. The first thing I noticed is the Kylie tag. You can see it straight through the back, which is kind of strange. So I grabbed something with text to put behind the fabric. This goes here. What? Wanted to do a comparison of the front coverage of the bottoms. Um, this is Kylie, this is mine, Aerie and Target. The Kylie is around an inch and a half of front coverage and I just personally don't know anyone's bodies that this would work for. Kylie Swim Review. I have never bought a Kardashian product before. Uh, I'm kind of stuck to my makeup routine, etc. but I thought I love swimwear, so let's try it out. Of course, the packaging is super cute. I love the logo and the general branding but the quality is not it. I tried on the swimsuit last night. Honestly, couldn't take a video. It was completely see-through. Like it's the thinnest piece of material in the world. I wish you could feel this nothing piece of fabric right now. Like it is not double lined. It's complete. You can see my, my kitchen and finger right through it. This bathing suit is $80. I have better bathing suits that cost half the price. And I'm not even gonna go into how bad the stitching is. There are things falling apart everywhere. Save yourself some money, don't buy it. I will be returning ASAP. So I ordered a swimsuit from Kylie Swim like last week or whenever it came out and it just came in today. And you guys have to see this. So I took it out of the box and I was like, oh, this is cute. And then I was looking at it and my first thought was I had to check the size because it looks so fucking tiny. And then I realized this was the size that I ordered. And guys, this is literally it. Like, I don't know if you can see how small this is, but like, I couldn't fit half a tit in there. Like, literally, who could wear this? This is a size large. Also, I usually get a medium. And it said that you're supposed to size up. But like, please tell me who can fit into this without flashing anybody. Also, this material feels super cheap. I don't know if you can tell, but there's literally only one layer of like, there's no lining. It's just, like, one layer. That's it. Lastly, this is a boob part. Definitely does not fit. Um, and it has this weird little strap at the bottom. And I thought it was supposed to be at the top. But I'm like, is this for putting your boob in sport mode? Like... Now, obviously, Kylie is no stranger to bad launches. Remember when Kylie Skin launched or when Kylie Cosmetics launched? Both of them had controversial launches and people were not very satisfied with the product's first go around. Kylie always seems to have bad launches. I'm not really sure why since she is a billionaire and she has all these businesses and all this money, but why are her products so bad and low quality? I feel like Kylie has bad launches because she likes to make it cheap at first, so the first go around could be a big cash grab for her. Then she ups the quality over time, but to me that's just not okay because at this stage in the game she's more than capable of releasing a quality product, but she just chooses not to. 